Hello everyone, my name is Jason and in this video I'm going to show you how to calculate the standard deviation of a population. And in this method I'm going to be using the computational formula to calculate the sum of squares. So let's get started. This is how I've set up my page before I begin any calculations. And this is how I suggest you set it up. Uh, and by setting it up this way, and by repeating and doing this problem or different problems many, many times, you'll, this will come to be second nature to you. And so you'll be able to solve these problems with, with relative ease. It's also helpful to have your formulas handy in case you forget. So let's get started. Here you can see my x variable. And I have five scores in total. And so our first order of operations is going to be to indicate that we have five scores. And we do that, or we, we represent that, that number with the big letter N. N is the total scores in the population. Now underneath that, you can see here we have sum of X. This is the big Greek letter sigma and it's telling us sum of x. So here we're just going to sum up each of these values and get a total. So 1 plus 5 plus 7 plus 3 plus 4, that's going to give us 20. Now here we have the Greek letter mu, and this is representing population mean. And in order to calculate the sum of squares, uh, using the computational formula, we don't actually need to calculate this value, but it's 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 good to to do this uh, for for habit. It's good practice, let's just say. So I'm going to go ahead and calculate that. And if you want to look at the formula, you can see formula number one over here is u mu equals sum of x divided by big N, which is 20 over 5, and that's going to give us 4. Our, our next order of operations is going to be to fill in this column here. This is x squared. So all we're going to do is square these values and then enter them uh, into their corresponding row. So 1 squared is 1. 5 squared is 25. 7 squared is 49. 3 squared is 9 and 4 squared is 16. Lovely. So now what we want to do is calculate the sum of x squared. Okay, sum of x squared. So we're going to add up all these values here. Now luckily I have my calculator handy, um, but you could do this in your head if you really wanted to train your brain. What this comes up to is 100. Sum of x squared is 100, the sum of all these values here. So now my next step, and I haven't wrote, wrote it down because this is where we're going to start uh, getting into the calculations, is our sum of squares value. Sum of squares, you can see over there, is the sum of x squared minus in brackets, the sum of x squared over n. Now, now some students get confused between these two, uh, these two entities here. We have sum of x squared, and then we have sum of x squared. But the difference is that here we have the brackets on the inside of the square. Okay, and so what that means is you're going to sum all the x values and then you're going to square that total. Whereas in this case, here you're going to square all the x values, and then you're going to sum up all the squared x values, and that's what we've done up here. So let's continue now. We have sum of squares equals 100 minus, here we have the sum of x, which is 20, sum of x comes from over here and we'll put a square on top and then our big N is 5 so we'll put our 5 right there now if you have your calculator handy 
what I suggest you do first is square the 20. So 20 squared is 400. Divide that by 5. Divided by 5 is 80. So you have 100, again, minus 80. And then that's easy to solve. Sum of squares, 100 minus 80 is going to give us a 20 for our sum of squares. Now, finally, or, or just before we calculate our standard deviation, we first want to calculate our population variance. And the population variance formula is sum of squares over n. And so we just calculated our sum of squares, and we know our n is 5, and so we're left off with 4. And then the standard deviation for the population is the root of the population variance, which is also the root of sum of squares over n which is going to equal the root of 4. And finally, we're left off with a value of 2. So our population standard deviation is 2. And if you look at my other video where I use the definitional formula for the sum of squares, you'll see we came up with the same value for the standard deviation, the same value for the population uh, variance, and the same value for the sum of squares. So both methods are are appropriate. I find using the computational formula to be much quicker. You'll see we had to do we had less steps. So if you have any questions about that, please feel free to message me. Um, if not, look out for my next video. Have a great day and see ya.